Okay, so we want to go to a CSS exercise repository and read the README rules. All right, these exercises consist of a series of CSS related tasks intended to complement the HTML and CSS content of the Odin project. They should only be completed when instructed during the course of the curriculum. When doing these exercises, please use all documentation and resources you need to accomplish them. You are not intended to have any of the stuff memorized at this point. Check the docs, use Google, and do what you need to do besides checking for solutions and to get them done. Important, we encourage you to practice your Git skills by committing changes and pushing them to your own, own fork. However, please do not open a pull request to have your solutions merged into the repo or to show your solution. If we were to merge your changes and exercises would no longer be available to intended for the new learners. Um, and opening a PR only causes additional work for us as we have to close it without merging. And uh, contribution. How to use these exercises. Fork this clone, f fork and clone this repository. To learn how to fork and clone a repository, see GitHub documentations, fork a repo. Copies of your repository on your machine are called clones. If you need to help cloning to your local environment, you can learn from how on the GitHub documentation cloning a repository. Go to an exercise directory and open the HTML file on a web browser. You can open the file directly or use something like VS Code's live server extension. For each exercise, read the README thoroughly before starting any work. Each README has a self-checklist. Use this to ensure you haven't missed any important details in your implementation. Make your edits in the HTML file index.html or on the CSS file in order to make the output in your browser look like the desired outcome images. Depending on the instructions of the exercise, you may only need to make edits in one of these files. Once you successfully finish your exercise, check top solution to compare it with yours. You should not be checking the solution for an exercise until you finish it. If your solution differs wildly from top solution and still passes the exercise's requirement, that's completely fine. Do feel free to ask about it in our Discord if there are any understandings. And some helpful hints. All right, well, to fork, what do we do? We can click fork here, and this is going to add it to ours. Yeah, okay. So this is me. We create the fork. Okay, so now CSS exercises. It's waiting. Okay, so now that's what we did. That was how to fork. I hope I didn't go through that too quickly. Clone, copy this here. I hope that you guys, I hope I have this set up. So now we go get clone. So first off, let's check where we are. It says we're in the desktop. So now if I go get clone and then I paste in the URL that I copied from here, I should clone this down. So now I'm pulling code from this repo. And so now I'm looking at this. Um, if we list everything that we see here, ls just lists things. Now we see CSX exercises are now there. So if we change directories into CSS exercises and we list, we can open up these things. So um, I can go open dash A, which means open with an application, Visual Studio Code. And then we're going to do the readme. Another thing we could do here is just go code, oops, and then go dot, and that should open it up in its own window. So now we're in the, um, we're within this folder and it's only here, it's not on the desktop, so we have the access to this. So I've got it open here. So now we can use the graphic user interface to look through here. Here we have GitHub issues, advanced HTML, CSS, foundations, block, inline, this. And so we'll open up the readme file, close this down. And you'll notice that this uh, readme is exactly what we just read through before we forked this, right? Um, so yeah, I wonder where you start. So if we click this button here, it'll show us the file structure here. And so since we are in foundations, I think that we should start here. And then because we're in intro to CSS, we should probably start in this folder. So CSS methods, we could start with this one. Uh, I see desired outcome. It looks like this is what we're looking for. We have our index file and we have a readme. Um, cool, so let's read this. In this exercise, you're going to practice adding CSS to an HTML file using three methods, external CSS, internal CSS, and inline CSS. 
You should only be using type selectors for this exercise when adding styles via external and internal methods. You should use also use keywords for colors, e.g. blue, instead of using RGB or hex values. There are three elements you can add styles to, each of which use a different method of adding CSS to it. As noted in the outcome image below, all other exercises in the section will have a CSS file provided and linked for you. But th for this exercise, you will have to create the file and link it to the HTML file yourself. This is all about practicing using these different methods and getting the syntax right. A uh, quick tip, do not worry about details in these exercises as they are not specifically mentioned in the exercise or self-check section. Because the desired outcomes are screenshots, your browser may show a different font. The colors may appear different on your machine or the spacing between elements may look different. Only concern yourself with the specific items you are supposed to be learning for each exercise. The properties you need to add to each of these elements are div, p, and button. Div, a red background, white text, a font size of 32, center align, and bold. P, a green background, white text, and a font size of 18. Button, an orange background, and a font size of 18. So they have your desired outcome here. And if you check it, you can see it here. This is the desired outcome. Um, we can close this again. Self-check. Did you use all three methods in the CSS? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. We can check this once we are complete with the process. So <clears throat> we'll open this up and I'm going to make this full screen now. Um, first off, what we want to do is open the index.html in our browser. So we'll pull it down here. And so, yeah, here we can see that they have this, um, thing that looks similar to our desired outcome, but quite different, right? We need to change this. So we're, what we're going to do is, um, yeah, so our desired outcomes there. So our index is here. And so first off, div, a red background. Probably just one of each. And it says, uh, elements of this thing, two, two, two. By adding styles, external and internal methods. Okay, the properties you need to add to each element. So for the div, so we can start off with just a style element, right? D Y L E. And um, so for div, we want to add red background, background color, red, uh, P with white text. Uh, so color is equal to white font size is equal to 32 pixels and center aligned uh, align center and then what is it font weight bold not nulled but bold Okay, so now let's see. We did the div, which is to be style me via external method. Oh, okay. This one wants to be styled via an external method. So if we refresh here, we'll see we've got style me via external method. And does that give us our desired outcome? Yeah, pretty much, except for it's not centered properly. So what was the uh, <clears throat> CSS align text center? Text align. Text align. Save that. Come back to here. Nice. And does that look like our desired outcome? Yes, that looks like it's perfect. Okay, but this is say style me via an external method. Wow, this is tricky for somebody but it's brand new. Foundations. So we're going to change directories. Right now we're in the root directory. We want to change into foundations and then we want to be into intro to CSS. And now we want to touch, which means create a new file, style.css. So we'll see that that pops up here. 
No, I changed it into the wrong one. So what we want to do is move the styles.css into the this one. So what we go is move solution mv solution. No, what we want to do is move styles.css into um, a one CSS method, and we'll make it styles.css. So as you can see, it just moved that from there to there. Okay, so our styles is here. Uh, we can open this guy up. So it's an empty file, and what we want to do is have this be in here. And now we want to link a uh, href to um, styles. That CSS. So now if we save this, this should remain the same. Okay, we messed that up somehow. Styles.css. And so yeah, how do you link external CSS? Link, okay, it's rel, not href. So when we come back here, Oh, and we need to have, oh, rel style sheet. And then we make the href equal to that. Link href my style styles. Oh, I haven't saved this file. That's the problem. Okay, so I gotta save that. That's the critical part. All right, so we're coming back. There we go. Now it's now. So this is um, linked by an external method, which is, means that we're linking up this file, which is in the same folder here. <laughs> Man, this is tricky for the first the kind of thing. Um, yeah, so let's get back up to the readme. Okay, so we've done the div with the background. Uh, P, a green background. And then what does P say? I would like to be styled with the internal method, please. And then the button says inline method. Okay, so internal method would be adding a style element here. And what would we like to do? We want to do a green background. So for a P element, we're going to do a background color green. And then uh, text is white, so color white. And font size of 18 pixels. Cool. So now if we save that, and we look here, this guy should, um, upon refresh, be like that. And if we look at our desired outcome, it looks like that is right. So we'll go back to the readme. <clears throat> and that was, I would like to be styled with an internal method, please. And then the button. Um, an orange background with a font size of 18. So in line, we're going to be style is equal to, and then... Um, background color is equal to orange and a font size of 18 pixels with no space so now if we save that and refresh here this should look orange and have a background color of 18 and if we compare this against our desired outcome it looks really really close uh, the slight differences are probably to do with browsers or operating system or something like that. So did you use all three methods of adding CSS to a HTML file? Yes, we used the external, the internal, and the inline. Did you properly link the external CSS file in the thing? Yes, we linked it to here. So style.css, we added this file here within the same 
01 CSS methods directory. And so yeah, it worked. We can tell because the, uh, the font changed. Does the div element have CSS added via external method? Yes. Does the P element have the CSS added via internal method? Yes. Does the button element have the, C, uh, have the CSS added via the inline method? Yes, the inline method is this one. All right. So I wonder if it gives you any context on self-check. OK, we already did that. So we're going to save our work now. And now we got to go get status. Now. So what we're doing now is going to save our work to our forked repository. So these are all the changes. We've adjusted the HTML, we've adjusted the CSS, and within this uh, methods folder, we've added, uh, we've modified the index file. Oh, this isn't right. So yeah. So what we want to do is go add our work. So we want to add. 01 CSS methods for the index HTML. And if we go get status now, we'll see that that part has been added. And we also want to do git add our 01 CSS methods, and we want to add our style sheet. And so now, if we go get status, we'll see that we've added these two files. These ones are from me messing up earlier, so ignore them. And so now we want to commit them. So git commit dash m, and we're going to add our message is uh, our first. CSS methods solution. And then once that's there, we can go get push. And that will push it up to our forked repository. So now, if we look in our forked repository, which is this guy, if we refresh, we'll see that the foundations and the uh, intro to CSS and the CSS methods within the style sheet, we just added this here, which is, huh, is that right? Intro to CSS, 01 methods. CSS methods. Yeah, and so the desired outcomes there, our style CSS shows this, which we never even edited, so that's not important. But within our index, we did that. Oh, styles.css. Yeah, no, we added this here. Okay, cool. So that's the first solution. Um, yeah. So, I'll go to your CSS. Then, once you know how to, how to use the exercise, navigate to CSS repository foundations directory. Review each readme prior to it. So, CSS methods. Did we start with that? The CSS methods? Intro to CSS. Class ID selectors, grouping selectors, chaining selectors, command shift P, no. Oh, it looks like these are out of order. Solution for these exercises can be found in the solution folder. Uh, intro to CSS, CSS methods. This would be the solution. We can compare our solutions. Looks like they're exactly right. Solution.html. How do we compare that against our solution? Yeah, we got it right. Okay, so we got the solution correct, and we've pushed it up. All right. So, CSS methods. That was the first one, so CSS methods. That's the one that we just completed. So our next one would be O2 CSS class ID selectors class ID selectors. So we can close all our other work and then intro to CSS class ID selectors. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm going to move on for now and I'm going to make a video out of each of these going forward. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the future.